if you have any questions as well. Oh man, awesome. I cannot wait to taste what Likorn is cooking for us. I'm sure it's going to be absolutely amazing. He looks like I really know what he's doing. But right now, I'm chilling with Gugu and she is a rep from the Institute for Justice and Reconciliation. How are you doing, Gugu? I'm great, thank you. I'm um, awesome. Thank you so much for coming through. Thank you now, I want to know what exactly is it that your, that your institute does? So the Institute for Justice and Reconciliation is based here in Cape Town. It's an NGO that mainly works to build um, just and reconciled society in South Africa. So it, it prides itself in building fair and inclusive societies. So basically in its methodologies, it tries and makes sure that all the issues of young people, yeah. children and, and older people, all uh, minorities basically, uh, are mainstreamed in the work that we do in the Institute. So basically that's what, that's what it does. And what is your role? in the Institute. I've, I've known that you are an advocacy, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so I work as a communications and advocacy officer at the Institute. Mm -hmm. So basically what we do is try and make sure that the work that we do um, impacts and influences policies and decision making within the South African context. And also it makes sure that we represent the people that are not necessarily heard on a daily basis. Yes. So yeah. Now I want to know from you, can you please define what justice and reconciliation means? So for me, justice is is the, the, the justice is a concept of of rightness based on ethics, based on religion, based on law. It is also an, an act of fairness, right? Yeah. However, reconciliation that is the amendment of relations could be friendships, it could be um, um, love relationships, it could be uh, family relations. So for me, that is it's a reconciliation. It's the amendment of of those relations. And with those relations, obviously, it does go hand in hand with us as humans having human rights. Definitely. Now, can you please tell us what is human rights and how important are human rights for us as South Africans? Human rights are very, very important in South Africa because um, when we, when in the, the acts that were happening in 1960, mm -hmm. um, when there were yeah, people in South Africa that were fighting for these human rights in Sharpville, um, that for us marked a turning point for our constitution, marked a turning point for our history in South Africa. Yeah. Um, so it is important that we recognize human rights and it it's important that we commemorate the acts that were happening um, in those days because it, it puts us where we are right now mm -hmm. as South Africans and the rights that we have um, into going and living our daily lives. Now you've mentioned that your institute also focuses on you know, the rights of children. How important is it for children to be respected with their rights? So children and young people are the future and the now of South yeah. Africa. Um, and I feel like there can never be any, any development or transformative development mm -hmm. within our South African context or within in Africa without the inclusion and the mean, meaningful inclusion of young yeah. people. So basically when we talk about human rights, it is very important and very crucial that we, 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 we mention um, young people and we mention mm -hmm. children because um, as I mentioned, they are the future of our country. So their human rights within um, the constitution section 28 stately stipulates the human rights of young people and children, specifically those who are under 18. Awesome. Now one of the main rights is of course labour. Labor. I know that there are so many people out there that are exploiting young children to yep. work in hard labour. How can we stop this and also what is the appropriate age for a child to start working? So um, the, the basic um, conditions of employment act, it stipulates that anyone that is younger than 15, it's illegal to, mm -hmm. to employ those people. However, between the ages of 15 and 18, it means that you can still employ a young person. However, it means that the work shouldn't be, able, shouldn't be harmful to yeah. the young person. It should be work that they can learn from. Because also these are people that are meant to be in school. These are people mm -hmm. who are supposed to be in varsities or in, in a high school. So if you're employing them, just make sure that the work that you're employing them um, in um, is not harmful to them so it has to be ages between 15 and 18 however if you're under 18 it is illegal to be to be employed and with that being said at the same time you are stealing their rights um, to have an education by you know taking their rights away from them I mean Definitely. I know sometimes you need to work in order to provide for your family but also don't try and exploit the situation by making the child work for hard labor but thank you so much thank for you. chatting to us it was absolutely amazing having you on today's show and yeah we're gonna chat a bit more because I really want to know more about this topic right now quick commercial break when we come back we read what you guys are saying online <laughs>